Mi nombre es Narciso Román. Son mis hijos. Aquí está donde estamos, a donde vivimos nosotros. Hasta donde me alcanza. Ahora me alcanza a pagar lo que gano supuestamente como owner o pereira. Con ese sueldo tengo que pagar mil dólares de renta, pagar biles y pagar eh, doctor. Yo tengo un hijo que es asmático. My dad had to take me to the hospital in emergency, and the doctors asked themselves that why is it going to be alive when, my, when I should be dead. Hey, ya vieron cuál es mi hogar. No vivo en una forma que se diga que soy dueño de, de negocio. Vivo como esclavo de las compañías. Por eso siempre estamos clamando justicia, dignidad para nosotros y nuestras familias. If there was a list ranking the greatest problems facing humanity in the 21st century, global warming and poverty would be at the top of that list. And the idea that we can attack both of these problems together is incredibly exciting. And what better place to start than Los Angeles? Well, for years, the environmental and labor movement have worked under the false assumption that either we could have good jobs or we could have a clean environment. But actually, we need to be able to have both. Ironically, uh, the perils of global warming, the economic dislocations of globalization have presented an unprecedented opportunity for us to chart a new path of cooperation between the environmental and labor movements. The twin ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are the largest air polluter in Southern California. Together, they pollute more than half a million cars. The trucks from the ports alone are 30, maybe 40 percent of the air pollution risk in Southern California. Diesel exhaust is making people die in this air basin. It happens every day. Real people do in fact die from cancer, heart attacks, strokes, asthma. You would think that California is already environmentally conscious until you see the port and you see what's happening with asthma. You see what's happening with these engines that are literally just kind of chilling out by schools or by neighborhoods. If you look at the children here in Long Beach who have ever been diagnosed with asthma, we're looking at about a 19% rate. So there's a huge jump for those communities that are di located directly next to these pollution sources. It's the port in a hole that creates this big problem as far as pollution and smog. So, I mean, I only, I mean, not only do I have to work in it, but then I have to go home and live in it. I see drivers on the side uh, uh, pull over, vomiting, uh, throwing out for the reason. I, I, and I stop because I know what they're going through. It's not because they're sick. I know that being around here gets you sick. The environmental and health impacts of the port of uh, Los Angeles are directly linked to job quality for the 16,000 port truck drivers that work there. In the 1980s, trucking was deregulated and these drivers were misclassified as independent contractors. As an owner operator, we just had to do whatever we had to do. The companies are not responsible, not even for workers' compensation. We had to pay that when we pay our taxes. The current port trucking system has been broken for at least 20 years, and it's poor immigrant communities and drivers who are bearing the brunt of the burden created by this system, while it's the Walmarts and other big corporations that are reaping all the rewards. 45% of the nation's goods come through these ports. We are now part of a global economy, whether we like it or not. If truck drivers stopped working one day, America would stop working. The entire port industry depends on them, yet they are not recognized either in wages or any type of benefit, even though their job is so crucial and also so dangerous.
Starting in Southern California, we've launched an ambitious campaign to bring the American dream to 88,000 truck drivers across the country, and at the same time, attaining the most significant diesel emission reductions in our nation's history. The Clean Trucks program will set strict labor standards and environmental standards to make sure that drivers are fairly compensated and the trucks that they're driving are running on clean fuel. The program will also allow the ports of LA and Long Beach to expand and build the regional economy, but they can only do that if they meet their goals for reducing pollution. We are urging the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach to act out on the Clean Air Action Plan. We need this done now. It's been incredibly exciting to see groups that have either never worked with each other or had been at odds with each other come together into such a powerful force. And I want to tell you, I will not be moved. I will not be moved. I am supporting you. I will not budge until this system has been fixed and every one of you becomes an employee. It's up to all of us. Es una responsabilidad de todos nosotros. Improving driver pay will result in tens of millions of dollars being poured into low-income neighborhoods. And taxpayers will save billions of dollars now spent on health care for uninsured drivers and the medical problems caused by dirty trucks. Imagine taking an entire uh, class of workers in one of the nation's largest industries and moving them into the middle class overnight. That's what the Clean Trucks program will do. It's labor and environmental groups coming together to lift more than 16,000 drivers out of poverty and create healthy communities for us and for our kids. When we win, and we will win, this is going to be one of the biggest things that's happened to clean up the shipping industry anywhere in the world. This is very, very important. We're building something here that will go way beyond just the Port Truck Driver campaign. It's bringing together two of the most important movements in this country, in fact in the world, and it's going to make the world a better place for everyone. Thank you.